record. We're recording. And guys, we're going to open this up to a QA and a with, with my main man, Joe, right here. So hit us with your questions. We're going to shoot the shit. This will be podcast style. This will be question and answers. This will be inappropriate at times. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how's, how's it hanging, man? How's it hanging, brother? I've been taking it slow, man. Have you? I, I saw um, small caps had some pretty decent plays today. They yeah. had a bunch of well, bunch of good stuff. dude. The thing that's bothering me, and like, let me expand this for like the state of the like the big cap market. The thing that's bothering me, bro, is I was crushing it, dude, for the last month in big caps, and I was just long swinging everything. But now everything is so fucking inflated, dude, that like the buying opportunities are just like, I'm like, please spy and QQQ come down as far as you want so we can get these opportunities <laughs> again. Right. And it was like the, si the same time that small caps heated up. And I was like, well, fuck, dude, I guess I'll put my focus this week on small caps because big caps are so inflated right now. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, pausing the, the the yeah the swinging for the most you know i like what we talked about is i'm 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 kind of pausing the uh, well dude we're get well, every single too, day because... having a position you know that that i'm like anticipating to go high, you know what i'm getting at you well, know what Joe, i'm getting we're at getting here closer it's like to the election man and the closer we yep. get bro i'm i'm feeling a little i'm getting shakier in the in the overall markets every day i'm getting a little bit more shaky the closer we get to this election bro yeah. And so I'm, dude, I just been day trading. You know, I've had some, I've had super tight stops on everything I've been trading. Um, and fortunately I have, I missed the big bull run, you know, like two days ago, but oh, did you? I don't have I any, I don't have any on FOMO it, on that, man. I don't have any FOMO on it because I'm just like, eh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean here's the thing man when you're a professional trader man you do this for a living and 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 like pay your bills for this you know that i know there's going to be 600 more of those that, by the time i'm, I'm done saying, trading for the rest I'm of my saying, life and the reason why you guys <laughs> fail and we can even cover a little bit of psychology on this guys is look dude trading is a bus station i say it all the time there's always another bus coming if you're running after a bus dude you've missed yep. like so much opportunity or you get run over by that bus and then you're not ready to catch the next one that's at the starting point like there's always another opportunity yep so how would you, know, you use vwap with pre-market levels and vwap intraday together what how do you program it or or how do you use no, it like, how would you use it is the question well when it comes to vwap brother how would you use it is just the same way whether you program an intraday or a pre-market with intraday vwap is vwap don't think about it as like i would at least i wouldn't think about it as super different over vwap is generally bullish under vwap is generally speaking a bearish more it's more of a bearish sentiment so i'm using it as a point of support or i'm using it as a point of resistance no matter what settings i would have set on it whether it's just intraday like bow uses or whether it's pre-market and intraday like me and alex use i mean that's how, yeah that's how, that's how i would say it for yeah for small caps it's I think it matters, you know, how much volume is traded pre-market. Well, dude, like, do you know, and Joe that, talk about that's this like, every single week. Joe, let's, t let's talk about this, right? So, like, where's a good example? Um, EFOI, right? Me and Joe mm -hmm. talk about this every single week. And honestly, today was kind of like a funny – actually, I'm sorry. I have a better example. IDXG. IDXG, oh, this is how IDXG. Me and Joe trade. Dude, this is a great example. Me and Joe, this is how we trade um, VWAP. If a stock – is I can't believe way, this company is still a company. Dude, if a stock, I honestly, bro, I swear to God, do you know I shorted this like like within my first year of trading like seven years yeah, ago? Yeah, I did too, yeah. How is this still <laughs> around? Seriously. I don't know. Guys, look at where, look at, let, let's go live on this. Look at how far it is under VWAP. It's very broken. And when it comes to the open, it opens very far from VWAP. So we're using VWAP as an outer line to short. That's what we did in the morning. And then I covered lows just like Alex did. Now, I'm not talking about this big old squeeze or anything because I actually don't really play a stock that's coming back up to VWAP the second time. I kind of like just like that first run. But mm -hmm. when it's very beaten down and under, we're using this as a point of resistance into the next top. So probably from VWAP to about... Uh, five, I would have scaled, honestly. So yeah. this, this is, this is how you do small caps. Now, when it comes to big caps, like let's just, Joe, what's a big cap that ran today? That's a really good example of trading. 
any any of them, man. Like what was uh, it, Amazon or something? Um with a relationship to VWAP? Well, I just need anything because I was going to pull up. I was going to show you guys what pivot points are. Oh, this is what so, you use for... Yeah, yeah, I would say Amazon, to be honest with you today. Amazon putting the pivots on there. Yeah, I think I think that, that um, those are probably pretty, pretty key is... You, you have kind of a coupling factor in big caps. You have the best of both worlds, right? So <clears throat> this midpoint, which is generally purple for most people, um, unless you're colorblind and then it's green. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the color spectrum of eyesight <laughs> diminishing. So when something is, is um, trading very kind of it's it's teetering on this midpoint like this this is a really crucial level for the overall direction of the day uh for the stock if it rejects a, a midpoint kind of re, uh, reclaim or 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 a move over when it rejects that and it becomes pretty bearish at that point You've got the market that's going with this, so it's kind of hard to say whether the spy was leading Amazon or Amazon was leading spy. That's a very hard one always to say. Uh... Yeah, it's it's um, it's debatable, but the beauty is you just wait for. For me, I like to wait for a little bit at the open, and I want to see how it reacts to this pivot point, this midpoint. How is it going to react to this level today? And then I kind of start to decide my direction from there. You know, we squeeze over the midpoint. That looks good. I'm like, okay, I'm looking for the tests and the test holds and it tries to push and then it closes weak. I would have been out as soon as we lost VWAP right there. Right. And so this is kind of the, you know, this is everybody's position on the day is somewhere in this range up to that time in the morning. So when it does not hold that, you know, people are going to start bailing. And what you'll see is you'll see the relationship and, and keep in mind this one on thinkorswim is just, it includes all pre-market and daily. So I like to think of, you know, what, what is the herd watching? The herd is watching this VWAP, right? That's what everybody's watching because the, the regular retail people that don't trade on platforms that can, that can remove pre-market and, include pre-market in VWAP, they're just going to watch this line. So it has more relevance there. But I think that you can use the intraday VWAP to kind of get a better insight as to <laughs> what's occurred after the market open. Let's say, for example, there's like big pre-market volume, right? And, and you know what the pre-market VWAP is, but at the market open, you get a new VWAP level. So knowing what the average position is of the people after the market open and the people that were trading it during pre-market that in my opinion is a it, it's a smart thing to keep an eye on it's not a huge edge but it's a smart thing to kind of keep in mind but for big caps man you just go on line to line and it just like we talk about it's this level right that level rejects what's the next level this level that level fails what's the next level boom we nail that we get that and then here we go back into these cells, right into those zones. And then the retest or the second test of this support is when it's likely to fail. So what you're doing is you're not waiting. You're instead of waiting to rebuy this dip, you know, if we touch VWAP and we test this low again, I mean, that's really bearish. You got to think about where it was and where it's, where it is now. So you're going to skip a line, wait for the next line. And then boom, you're, you're working your position from there. And, Whatever you risk in these cases, I mean, I, I think it's up to you personally and it's up to your own personal risk profile. But my favorite thing to do is if there is a, instead of just going pivot point to pivot point to pivot point is let's say, for example, there is um, like a uh, big daily support at 3,400, right? That means that between... Um, 3,400 and 
3385 becomes a buy zone like that. So it becomes, I'm going to start scaling in at 3,400 down to 3,485, scaling this in. I mean, that's, that's 15 points, guys. That's nothing on a $3,400 stock. Yeah, that's, literally, dude. That's like, that's like microscopic. That's, yeah, it's 10 cents on a penny stock. Bro, I, mean, I was talking. I was talking to a trader with a with a, a not a huge account because he trades uh, big caps and small caps. So he needs to keep his buying power really open. So think about like a sixty thousand dollar account, right, dude? I was telling him, I was like, bro, I was like, do you realize what two shares of Amazon can do for you in a week's time? I made eight hundred dollars on two shares. That's oh, absolutely. The beauty of range. Two fucking shares, dude, of Amazon make eight hundred bucks. <laughs> That's awesome. So I remember that dude that posted like, like a hundred or 200 share position at Tilray and made oh like 25 God. grand. Do you remember that? I remember that. And yeah. everybody on Twitter was like, holy shit. I didn't realize that type of size could really make serious money. And it's, we're all, uh, we're all of it. All of us are like, yeah, that was, you know, something that Bao said, you know, maybe 10 years ago. Dude. And all of us were like, you look, man, you <laughs> dumb fuck. Like we're glad you won, but dude, you could have ended yourself. You had no right. idea. Yeah. Oh man. It was, yeah, it was somebody, somebody was trading like those, they were trading with the, uh, what was that broker? Everybody was making fun of the dude calling him trade neck. Oh, oh trade net, tra trade net the CFD broker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was somebody that bought CFDs of Tilray or shorted CFDs of or something like that. It was something crazy and it was like small size and then all of a sudden posts this like giant gain and everybody's like holy shit. It was pretty funny. And then Trade Deck was like shit, I got to pay this guy. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you know, the way our checking and savings is set up, it takes 72 <laughs> hours. <laughs> 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 it's like the minute you did that voice i knew where you were going with it yeah <laughs> it's like a ridiculous dude uh, here's a question um i've been going through the beginner series as a person who is completely new to the stock market even some of the most basic concepts in the beginner series are hard for me to understand do you have a suggestion on where to start as yeah. someone who knows nothing uh like literally nothing Right here. So we put a you've PDF got, for you. Yep. You've got the starter pack. And the second point of reference that I would kind of point you to is, yeah, if you literally know nothing, start in this starter pack. And, you know, this is 31 pages of this. But if you really want to accelerate, hence the word accelerate, you really want to accelerate that learning curve, I'm going to point you to the accelerator because the accelerator starts at an even more basic level than the beginner series yeah, literally, itself. Dude. Let me, and let me it's, pull. it's a lot better structure. It's all new content. It's all relevant. I mean, it starts as basic as, uh, definitions and I, I I'm showing support and resistance, what support is, what resistance is, how that looks like on a chart. I mean, it, it goes literally to ground zero. Um, and you start from there. It's, it assumes you know nothing. That's, that's the assumption of the accelerator. It assumes you know nothing. And so that, this, this course, I mean, that's absolutely where I would point every cent. I had a buddy reach out to me on Facebook that I known for years and he goes, Hey, um, I want to learn how to day trade. I know you day trade. What would you point me to? Where did I point him? I pointed him right to the accelerator. hundred percent. And <clears throat> it, the reason why I did that is because not only did it save me a lot of heartache because you know, him and my fucking Facebook DMS like, Hey, so, um, I bought this stock <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm like, Hey, just, just check this out. I mean, this is literally, if you want to know how to day trade, this is what you do. This is what you do. Uh, yeah, if you want guys, to know like how to swing last, trade. The last text that, you know, please don't send me these texts. Be like, dude, I, I don't even, I, bro, I don't even answer texts like this, man. I'm serious. If there's one text I don't answer, 
it is. And then they'll be like, why didn't you answer me? I'm like, dude, you literally texted me. Hey, Tosh, I bought X, Y, Z and I'm down $14,000. What do I do? Bro, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an investment advisor. We're day traders. Like you just bought a company that I don't know anything about. I've never even heard of. And you're asking me what I think you should do. Dude, yep. are you kidding me? No. <laughs> What's up? I can tell you what downs? I would do. And that is, uh, I, if that were the case, I would just stop. <laughs> well, that's, that's what it boils down to guys. So yeah. you know, when it, when I can say what to, I would do when it comes to very, very constructive, you know, when it comes to constructive criticism or you guys want help or signing up and stuff, that's legitimate. You guys know that we're day traders or we teach this and that, but like, guys, seriously, the last thing I want to get is like, you're in a desperate panic mode. And then you text me, Hey Tosh, I'm not a member of MIC. I'm down 3000 on ticker XYZ. What do I do? Brother, I can't give you investment advice for something I don't know anything about. <laughs> What was that song from Drake? Hotline, <laughs> you always have a song. Hotline <laughs> Bling. Was that what that song was? Which one was it? The Hotline song. Probably. Was that song? Where he had to, like the stupid little dance with his knee and shit. That everybody <laughs> Tango, was like, Tango's, this is what I do for Woody. Woody will be like, what are we swinging? <laughs> 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 See, now that's hey, different. Hey, that's what what, think that's about between this? family members. <laughs> And every time Tay goes, every time I tell you what Tay says, I'll tell you what Tay says. Every time she just goes, just just put it in the will. Just put it in the will, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, just recapping, let's go back. If you want the best, best, best way to start, it is going to be the accelerator course, hands down. Uh, you know, I'll speak for Joe for a second because he's he's the creator of it. So I'll be an outside <laughs> eyes looking in. I've watched it, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Joe's done a wonderful job. Like he said, if you know nothing, 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 this is going to take you from absolutely knowing nothing to literally read it. Confidently place your first trade in seven hours. Now, we're not guaranteeing you'll be Alex in seven hours. That's ridiculous. Don't even think like that. That's crazy thinking. But you guys are going to have an unbelievably clear understanding of how to trade, what we trade, how to execute, and what it entails every single day being a day trader in the markets. I've seen every single services educational material. Oh, and okay? dude, he's not kidding. Literally. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. Some of which I paid for and the others, he got off you know, once I got in, <laughs> once I eventually made it into like, like chat room groups, you know, there were people that had already paid for it and they're like, Hey, you want to watch this content? Sure. And I'll go watch it. And I'm, I swear if you can't understand how to day trade through the accelerator, you're not going to understand anyone else's content. I can assure you with a 100% certainty. Okay. Maybe 99.9%. Well, yeah, certainty, and, the, and the coolest part guys, and the you're not going to understand anybody else's. Joe, let me say it this like is this. so basic that it, if, if you can't get it from here, stop, stop spending your money. Well, and it's, Stop spending dude, your money. and it's not even just for beginners. Like Joe's making it sound, dude, this is for a trader of any level. It's just, yeah. we are so good. Joe is so good at explaining things that everything he explained in this, literally a guy who knows nothing can understand it or a veteran can sharpen his skills. That's the point. Yes. Yeah. That, that is absolutely what I'm going with. It is, it, but yeah, if you're not a consistent trader and you want kind of a process to follow, that's the accelerator as well. It's going to outline everything, smooth over all the rough edges and make it a beautiful little sculpture. But if you can't curb bad habits from other, because here's what I'll get. Here's, I'll just give you guys a little feedback from like people, from members that buy this, that buy this or that come to me in their DMs or whatever it is. And what they say is, Hey, so I learned this, you know, over the past and I'm not consistent or I'm looking for this and they'll have three years, two years, one years of experience. Let's assume they're not a beginner. One, two, three years of experience, or maybe 20 years of experience, 20 years of experience, swing trading, investing, but they know nothing about day trading. The problem that every single one has, every single one of them is they bring, and I'm just going to word it like this. They bring the, the bad habits from those areas such as long-term uh, or swing trading. They, because you know, in long-term and sweet trading, what do you do when it goes against you and you're wrong? You just wait it out, right? 
you just wait it out and eventually it works because three out of four stocks follow the market and the market is designed to go up. So when you're trading small caps and you're day trading small caps, if you don't have a process of how you manage your risk, you're going to get murdered. And without that, you have nothing. And so you have to curb all those, all the things that you think, you know, okay. All that shit you think, you know, it was, this was me when I came to MIC, I had all this stuff that I thought I knew. I thought I knew this. I thought I knew that I thought, and then I learned Bao's method and I was like, fuck, I've been spending four years on shit that don't even matter. Like, holy fuck. Look, and, like, the, and the sad I, truth, man, and the sad truth is, look, the more you know that is actually information or education from someone else that taught you very bad, it's going to take you a little bit longer than the guy who's starting fresh. The guy that knows yeah. nothing, 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 and then gets the accelerator and follows it from point A to point Z. So it's going to take you a little bit of time to unlearn bad habits, but dude, start now, start immediately. Cause the more you're, so I get, I'll get a text, right? I'll get a text and guys, this is my phone number. You can text me for any questions, anything you need, any help. I'll get a text from a guy that'll be like, dude, I can't join MIC right now. I can't spend more money. I just joined a year at someone else. I'm going to see it through, even though I know it's shit. So you're telling me not only are you going to go with what will actually work today, you're going to go deeper into the rabbit hole to learn all this shit from an idiot that you're going to now have to unlearn a year later. And you're going to have all of that impregnated mm -hmm. in your brain. Dude, are you, mm -hmm. I would rather have you leave that subscription, dude, uh, practically write it off if you can, do anything you can, throw it in the trash and say, I need to start fresh and not accumulate all this bad information that I'm gonna have to unlearn more and more and more later. 1,000%, man, 1,000%. I, <laughs> Chris, with the, my favorite saying, Oh my God. <laughs> the, I love it when, when, um, when, uh, no, the, uh, the, I love the, he got baptized. <laughs> that's oh, yeah. like my favorite shit right now. Oh, that's now. what you were paying attention to? I was yes. Paying attention to yes. That. It's like my favorite thing, dude, because of, uh, Jorge Masvidal, the UFC fighter where he's like, one of his interviews was so funny. He goes, I'm not Jesus, but I baptized that son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Joe's like, I'm not Jesus, but I've been baptizing right? everybody. And I'm like, this dude is a legend. Speaking of which, Val, are you all over this one, brother? Are you on this one right now? Oh, man. Man, I'm going to tell you right away what makes me hate MDR at the root of all things evil this word right there it is a reit i do not like trading reits i really don't i hate trading reits there is so because and why because there is massive money hidden behind these things and almost everybody is long biased nobody shorts real estate nobody shorts real Dude, estate that, that's why that what was the dude's name from the movie The Big Short that said he was he he wanted to short mortgages, and, and like you're fucking crazy. Yeah, and they're like, and they were like, sure, I will absolutely give you that. Oh, you were talking about this in Maine, dude. Bow was Bow was attacking the shit out of this random pump with it seemed like no news. If I'm correct, Bow, look at this daily chart, man, guys. When you're when you're doing even if you have a rudimentary fundamental analysis, you know, a conception of fundamental analysis. This is a terrible daily chart, man. This is a stock that goes up, doesn't hold its gains, goes up, doesn't hold its gains, goes up, doesn't hold its gains. So when we go to intraday and something yep. like this is really up on no news and, and belligerently looks like a pump. I mean, you don't even have ticks trading five days ago. These are, these are not even ticks, dude. Look That's at the volume trade. on those. There's Think like a hundred shares, 200 shares. Dude, like, ooh. see that, see that. So Bao was attacking. First resistance, outer lines, covering washes, and then he was attacking resistance pops, and then he was attacking uh, uh, first resistance again. Beautiful. The key was to keep small, so he um, 
small size and take your game. That's the key. And then to give himself room. So that's what Bow was talking about. And just to give you guys an example, because we talk about this all the time, but Bow is in here. Dude, look what time it is. Seriously, look what time it is. It's late in the day. Bow has been giving commentary all day in main trading chat and showing you guys examples and posting real time. This was in the main trading chat while we were giving the webinar. So if you guys are part of a service or part of a club, a membership, whatever it is, and you are, you have a guru, quote unquote guru, who is literally in there for 20 minutes to an hour a day. Really? Dude, Bow's educating 24 hours a day in here. And if not in the main trading chat, he's in after hours. Dude, now, like I will say this. I've noticed a few traders, and I'm just going to say this in advance. I've noticed a few traders recently that see Bow continue to trade after zombie times. And so they feel they can continue to trade after zombie times. Bao is a 20 plus year veteran. All right. Yep. These folks are two year newbies and they're trying to follow Bao in continuing to trade these setups as the days go on. Bao does this for education and it's because he can, he can trade at all times of the day. Well, you can trade it at all times in those dude. situations. Well, and my favorite is this, dude. You know, me and me and Bao and Alex have, have talked about it many times. Dude, Bao's making most of his money in the morning. Say Bao makes $5,000 in the immediate morning, the first hour, right? Yep. He may only be looking for a $400 scalp here, a $500 scalp here, a $300 scalp here to pad the wallet, but he's teaching you guys. He doesn't have to trade midday, dude. He could go freaking yep. drive his Ferrari all freaking day during lull. He is yep. doing this so you guys can understand, and he's, and he's sized down, and this is something that we teach. After the first hour, he is protecting his gains by sizing down, and he's, yep. there, he's literally sitting here teaching you all day, man. I, I, you're never going to find that anywhere else, man, literally, other than MIC. But a consistent trader, some, sorry, let me say this. An inconsistent trader should always look to a regimen, a daily regimen like yep. Alex. Learn yeah, first from hour. someone like Bao who has the education, who has the process, who has decades of experience. Sorry to make you sound old, Bao. I know you're really not, but... <laughs> and he looks freaking 20. I know, right? <laughs> Walker, he's, he's, he's like, the founder of youth, bro. man. It's the liquor, bro. And <laughs> I don't know how Bao does it, dude. <laughs> right? But it live a daily regimen and live a disciplined life like Alex and take all the lessons that you learn from Bao and all the little tricks and tips that you learn from Bao, apply that to the first hour of your life in trading it between 9.30 and 10.30. And then after 10.30, Go study, go study and turn that fucking platform off. Turn sure. it off. All people do, here's what people do. They're like, all right, I made $500 this morning. I'm a size down. And by the end of the day, they've given it all back. And they're like, well, shit, now I've broken even. The best thing you can do is walk away at 1030, stack all the gains that you had that morning, no matter if you're red or if you're green, just like Alex does. And if you have the need to sit around and continue to watch Bow trade all day, just learn from him. And just like learn. Joe's saying, guys, like Joe's saying, if you have the discipline of Alex, these are the only times you are trading short as a short bias trader. The first hour, I lined up the details for you, and from 2 p.m. to 3, that's reversal. Yep. These are the only two times you should be short selling. Now, if Bao is trading midday or large cap, or, you know, I mean, sorry, channel trading um, intraday during the lull, it's because he is teaching you that, yes, you can make money there, but if you're brand new, focus on the easier timeframes and the easiest setups. Bao is really good at what's called channel trading and going to in and out of little resistance, scaling it, covering washes, and then hitting another pop. So, like, if we go to KXIN, I think it was. Mm-hmm. While a new trader is shorting right here and he's like, dude, I caught the top, blah, 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 starts breaking down. He's like, oh, dude, I'm fucking good. I'm going to add size. Then he brings his average down here. And then he doesn't realize these things can reclaim. Bow's already made money out, made money out, made money out. So while you're holding on to a losing position, adding and adding and adding, and then it's, by the time it gets here, you're like, oh my God, thank God. I'm finally even. Dude, Bow's already padded the wallet like a hundred times over. So yeah. the key, man, yeah, just, just know your pay grade. That's what we're saying. Yep. Yep. And don't try to mimic, don't try to imitate, don't, and, and yeah, there's, there's many things that people do wrong. This is just in my opinion that people do wrong when they try to learn to day trade. Um, 
from an education service like MIC or from a community like us. And what they do is they bring all their bad habits that they think are edges into our process. No, we literally give you the entire edge. We literally give you the entire thing. There's literally nothing that we hide. It's not some like, okay, pay us five grand and we'll tell you the secret sauce. But yeah, dude. you can just pay monthly and then, you know, get a little bit of it. Yeah, you guys, know, we're it's, not just... We're not yeah. just teaching lifetime members the real info, dude. It's not like that. Yep. Lifetime gets one-on-one -on -one help. One-on-one -on -one assistance, one-on-one -on -one help. They get priority in everything. And they also get the access to see live trading videos and they get trader clinics with you and Alex. Um, they get a lot of additional educational material, but it's the same edges. They just get different and more practice work. Yeah, it. it's just it's just with the lifetime membership and like the annual or something like that, you're going to get five times the content and yep. like 10 times the structure. You're still going to yep. have everything you need in monthly, but you're going to accelerate your learning curve, dude, literally by the potential of like six months to a year with the other packages. That's the whole point. Yep. So it's up to you and look, man, there's many lazy traders out there. And then there's many really hard workers. The hard workers know that they're going to go for the gusto, probably get a bundle deal of the accelerator course and the annual and say, look, I am spending a little more money up front, but I want to get to my goals five times as fast. Yep. Now for this, for the folks that buy the accelerator and the annual bundle, my kind of study guide advice through that is because I'll get people that'll come to me and they'll be like, all right, I, I watched the accelerator. What's next? Watch that motherfucker again. I was just going to say, dude, until you <laughs> like, watched it three times <laughs> over, don't ask me what's next. Dude, for real. Think three about this. Times. Think about this. Like imagine reading a book, right? And for those of you that know anything about, you know, what do you do? What do you do when you're trying to learn something? The first thing you do is you read that as fast as you can. It's a skim. It's a skim. Yeah, you skim over it as fast as you can. And what you're doing is you're building a mental cataloged library in your mind. And then after you've done that, now you start over and now you work slow. Slow through it. Looking so for all the little, listening to all the little intricate details, taking notes, all these things. Joe, there's a saying when I was in film school, man, there's a saying for this for writers. So anybody that writes a book, anybody, especially for screenwriting, the first draft you do, bro, is not good. You literally, to get a movie done, to get a screenplay written, say a 90 page screenplay, which is the equivalent of a full length feature film about the roughly 90 minutes, because each page is a minute. Bro, book out that 90 fucking pages in one week. Guess what? You'll spend the next year on rewrites. Right, yeah. That's yep. how it is. The first one is just so you can understand and skim the content. The second and third time viewing are the rewrites, and that's where you learn. Yep. If, if I remember correctly, the percentage is the first time you read or hear something, you only retain like what, 10%? Yeah, something 20 like, it was like literally 10 to 25% or something like that. I heard that too. It, yeah, it, it, a lot of people have done studies on this stuff and it's, it's, it's like how much, so just for, for example, you know, Psychology Today wrote about this and they said, how much, how much information does the average person retain? Well, the average short-term memory capacity is seven plus the minus, seven plus or minus two pieces of information that is five to nine pieces. So in turn, what that means is you retain about 10, maybe at max 20%. <laughs> yeah, it's different if they're inebriated, about, absolutely. Depends if you're inebriated. So if you're watching the accelerator court <laughs> drunk as a skunk, then yeah. You or you have selective time. hearing like Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Who retains 0.5% on the first draft. Yeah. Shots fired, Woody. Shots <laughs> fired, bro. Oh, man. See, selective memory, oh, man. selective hearing. Anytime I'm with a girl, I listen to about 5% of what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so, I mean, you got to think about that. The average person retains roughly 10% of what they hear the first time. So, when somebody watches, the accelerator the first time through they retain 10 percent of it guess what 10 percent of that content ain't gonna get you well guys and here's, where, and here's where ego you know gets where. involved here's where ego gets involved so listen to this there's a lot of traders out there 
who are very cerebral and they're in spreadsheets and they're like, dude, if I do X, Y, Z, I should get X, Y, Z. Yep. Just because you can write it off your trader bucket list and say, I watched the accelerator course doesn't mean shit if you didn't retain the information. Just because you've been trading the markets for eight years or 10 years doesn't mean jack shit. The market doesn't care who you are. You got to learn to have the edge. You got to learn to be the shark. You got to watch that accelerator course. I don't care if it's seven times over, you know, eight hours a time, as long as it takes for the information to sink in, because the information for you to be profitable is in there. And the information the, is in Bow Daily commentary is in there. Even right now, what he's doing, all yep. the information for Here's you to make the stat. as much money as you want is in here, but you got to retain it and you got to learn it correctly. And so, you know how people talk about the learning curve. Well, the stat is actually called the forgetting curve. Okay. <laughs> I'll bet it is. And, and the stat is this research on the forgetting curve. Okay. It shows that within one hour of reading or listening or, or watching something, you forget an average of 50% of everything you just watch within one hour. Why within 24 like hours. Movies? With horror yeah, movies, right? you remember 100% of everything. <laughs> I know, right? Because they, they grab you and they scare the living out of you now within 24 hours you have forgotten 70 percent of any new information that you've heard now within a week within a week of not continuing to refresh yourself on this you've forgotten 90 percent of what you watched so it's it literally proves right there that if you watch the accelerator one watching the accelerator one time is not going to be the key to your success. I promise you. I absolutely promise you. If you watch it one time, nope, you don't stand a chance. Hundred percent. You don't stand a chance. Watch it one time and then go start placing trades. Nope, you don't stand a chance. And here's another thing. Here's another thing I want to make very clear, dude. Even in daily commentary, you're going to learn an extraordinary amount of information. So this is something that we like to tackle at MIC. This is what's called a broken stock. So remember, we were talking about earlier before Bao came on, but we were talking about what me and Joe look for as relation to VWAP and where the stock was to where it's currently trading and where VWAP is. Look what Bao did. So. When you have an extremely broken stock, by the way, as a short seller, if you're the guy shorting major strength and uh, you know stocks making highs, you're just you're just educated wrong, man. You're not going to make money yep. as a short seller. Short sellers attack the most broken stocks because they are broken. Weak stocks get weaker and strong stocks get stronger. AKA we have lingo at MIC called the hot chick or the side chick. This is what's called pretty much a side chick or and or a broken stock or even a sympathy at times. But right now, look at the relation to VWAP that, that Bao's looking at. So if this stock has been trading and look at every single pop sold off under VWAP for what, the last four hours? What do you think Six this is going to do when it IDXG. pops back? Dude, what do you think this is going to do when it pops back to a whole number? Look what, how Bao scaled it. Yep. 397 covered at 381. And that's what I'm talking about, man, is the edge was right there for Bao. He saw the broken stock. He hit, he waited for a perfect entry. He scaled it and then he covered the wash. So again, you don't need to have a home run trade where you time it at 572 and cover at 380. That's not how trading works, man. Bao's in and out making money all day and is going to teach you to nail and bail. So think about it like this. Bao had 1.5K shares, right? Gets like 15 cents. Dude, he does that all day. By the end of the day, it's a home run. Nail mm -hmm. and bail base hits until you have a home run. That's the point. This is what we teach. Dude, it does not take a lot of money. $240 and he'll do this. He'll do this all day. He'll do this literally all day, man. So that's how you build P&Ls. That's how you build bankroll. You follow the trend. You don't fight it and you nail and bail, man, and, prote and protect yourself risk management, but look at things like VWAP and look at things like trend and look at things like, um, you know, just generalized price action where the whole and half dollar marks are. This is what we teach every single day, man. And look, you're not going to get it in the first day, maybe not the first week, but when you see commentary like this every single day for months and, and dude, if you get a yearly membership, if you get an annual membership within one year, you're going to, you're going to know every which way Bao does his trading. Yep. The commentary alone. Imagine if you got an annual membership with the accelerator course, bro, in six months time, you're going to be a beast. Just so that line work. This is that cutoff time for all beginners. Yep. This stuff over here that Bao's doing, this is for advanced people. This stuff is to hit home 
the importance of just having a line, seeing the line, seeing a relationship of it, but this is not going to be where you succeed. This mastering this area right here, like mastering that zone, mastering Definitely. all of this stuff, like taking advantage of all of this right here, like that is where, you that's know, the, the that's, money. that's the big money. That's where everybody makes the most of their money. This stuff that Bao does, keep in mind, guys, he's doing this for your education. He's made enough money today, probably, that he doesn't need another $240 in his life. It's not going to no, change No, dude, anything. Bao's made enough money to go eat pho probably 100 times over today, but he's doing right? this to yeah. educate you guys. He could what feed a small Vietnamese village after something today. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> Bao, can you confirm that? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I mean, Going yeah, all the it's... He could pay, you know, for, for, yeah, <laughs> it only hit his first starter. Yeah. So the point is guys is look, man, we don't do this just for Wednesdays. This is about 24 seven every single day he's in chat and which is most days, you know, obviously we all need a pamper day every now and then, which is part of process, which is part of being on top of your mental game. Don't, you shouldn't trade five days a week, every single day for a year, every now and then you do need a day. You need a separation. You need to take care of yourself. You need to protect your health because your mental is as important, but every single day bows in main chat, dude, he's trading until the close, man, help you guys understand. And that you will never find anywhere else. I can, I can almost guarantee that dude. Obviously I don't know every chat room out there, but you're not, going to find someone as talented as bow from morning to close that's for damn sure you're not going to find a better day trader i can Definitely guarantee not. you i can yeah. guarantee you there is no better day trader than modern rock hundred thousand percent and guys like again we don't like to do this because it sounds like blowing our own horns which we're not about we're actually legitimately just about teaching you but think about it like this you're learning from a man this is this is <laughs> now now we'll be so bow can retire Bao has made in his prime. Who can say they've done this? Do you realize on Fannie Mae in Bao, what was it, 2013, correct? Because I remember the year of your Ferrari, yeah, which was like the same week you bought it or the same day. Bao made $1.4 to $1.6 million. He can confirm the exact numbers in one day. You're learning from that guy. You're not learning from dipshit average Joe Pumper on YouTube that you're like, you're what's not learning from the guy that lost a million like? in a day. You're learning oh, from a guy that made a million in a day. Made 1.5 million. A big in a difference in part. that. Here's the best part. Like Two hundred percent difference. Well, and here's the best part. A lot of people would probably be like, "Oh my God, did he have a room? Did he have a pay room? Was he pumping?" No, dude. This was before anyone even knew who Bao was, dude. He didn't have a room or anything. Like that's the whole point, man. Is like you're learning from that guy. And then you're learning from the second guy who Alex, who trades with a 35K account, makes 250 grand a month, is up a mil on the year, and trades an hour a day, walks away and helps members the rest of the day and grows our wonderful business. That's who you're learning from. That's a dual combination if I've ever heard. And then you have degenerates like me and Joe teaching you on Wednesdays. <laughs> 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 so it, it, it's I, I i rather i prefer to to talk about everybody else's success besides I, i'm always you know what i'm saying people. like that's kind of where i always lie within that dude and i and i hate to single someone out man but i have to bring this guy up dude he's just a hero of mine at this point for what he's created in such a short time bro whoever is not familiar with amen this, this guy is absolutely on fucking fire, dude. He is, we made a moderator, man, because he was so helpful to members. He is just killing it every single day. And he's a huge inspiration of what it means to be such a good trader in such a short amount of time. Amen, dude, is like, if you want to see a success story, Tom Diesel, Amen, man. We have so many examples, guys. And now they're moderators to help you grow. The whole point of MIC, dude, literally, I remember the fucking phone call, man, where me bowing out. Alex, two years ago, Bao said, he goes, I want to create a community and build traders so good that they can even teach others because of how good we made them. Dude, do you realize what that means? Think about that on a business sense. You make such a good trader that he learns how to trade for himself. He doesn't need MIC. That's the point. All these other guys who are churn and burn, you think they want you to learn? No, dude, they want you to need them. And, oh, I got a new secret strategy. I got a new secret tip. I got a new And they definitely won't bring you into the community. Dude, that's the whole point. We, we teach traders to become self-sufficient to where technically you won't even need MIC. Now, 
will you want to be a part of MIC? A hundred percent, because we're such a positive working family ecosystem where we support each other and keep each other on our toes. But let me tell you something. We make traders so good to the point where they didn't even need the chat room anymore. That's, that's what MIC is about, man. True education. But you're not going to want to leave because it's so damn fun here. <laughs> it's like Hotel California. Exactly, baby. But, um, yeah, and Bao just said it perfectly, dude. Literally, this is why we have a tab partner. It's like, look, as good as Bao is, as good as Alex is, as good as Tay is, as good as Eamon is alone, you are going to be so much better every single day with your partners in crime, with your tab partners, because ongoing support is needed. You know, they have a saying that, you know, mental health, right? Being, being happy in this world, being joyful, life gets hard sometimes. Life gets depressing, even if you have all the money in the world. Dude, I've worked for billionaires and I knew them to be depressed. Like, the point is, is like, being in joy and keeping things on a high vibration, it takes a lot of work, man, especially keeping a trading career alive after two decades. Bao wants to trade with Alex every single day. He wants to be an MIC. It's not like he feels like this is work or he's got to do it to help you guys. Dude, this is a joy. That's the whole point of being a trader is like, look, man, you could be the next Bao tomorrow. And if you are, you're still going to want to stay at MIC because we keep you on your toes. We keep you accountable. We force you to look in the mirror and say, hey, you know, Eamon, you're getting really good, man, but let's keep you good. And here's how to do it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck, man, I could rant on this all day, man. But if you're not a part of MIC, man, it's really time to think about it, dude. It's really, I'm telling you right now, just text me, man. We're going to get you situated. We've got every resource you could need. Um, and no, we don't have a library list of 10,000 DVDs and products because we actually teach you how to trade, man. We have the accelerator course because it is hands down the greatest thing ever. And we, we don't charge an arm and a leg for it, man. Seriously, we charge what it is worth and what it took for us to create it because it took six months. So I don't know how I we think we charge too little. That. That's just my opinion. What's that, bro? I don't think we charge enough. Oh, dude, we are you kidding? We're so undercharged. Do you realize our our lifetime membership is 7K and there's people out there charging 4K for a year and then another 3K to go to boot camps and meet their dumbass? Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, absolutely. So 7K for a year membership and to meet your furu who's teaching you negative shit? <laughs> that you want to Yeah, you just just go to a just go to an MIC meetup one time, you know. Everything all taken care of except for food and and everything else. You come to the <laughs> yeah, venue, seriously. but you show up and then all of a sudden, guess what happens? I guarantee you people are buying you drinks. People are doing this. And it's, it's, a, it's a fun atmosphere to be dude, around. I, I, could, I could have Val like literally probably like count on it. Dude, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's endless. How many meetups have we done where Val picked up the whole tab for everybody? Right. Well, it ends up being Alex. Let's be real about yeah, that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh shit, it's so fun, man. It, we just have, it's just, look, man, this is a family, this is a community, this is a support system. We know each other by name. I know so many of our traders by face and, and by their personality. And it's like, like, again, man, if you, like, there's, <laughs> what more can be said? Oh, dude, I know. Yeah. It's, it's a different atmosphere, completely different atmosphere. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, who's, who's doing free, free webinars? Free webinar? Dude, this is public. And how much have we taught on this webinar, dude? Seriously. And it's our pleasure, man. It's our pleasure because look, MIC's goal is not to become the richest service in the world. It's not about that. It's about helping and making a difference in traders' lives. Obviously, there's going to be people that watch this and sign up. And obviously, there's going to be people that watch this and don't. But at least we provided everyone with value that they can take home. That's what we're about. That's the legacy of MIC, changing yep. traders' lives. The only thing that pisses me off about MIC is that it wasn't around when I started. Oh, my That's God, a bunch of dude, fucking horse shit. light years ahead. Uh, no, you know what it is, Joe? You know what? You know what? Horse light shit. years ahead, not because <laughs> of the fact that we got an early start, is because we wouldn't have started and learned bad habits that we still have to this day from all Bro, the Bro, for real. Yeah, I wouldn't have developed like, I wouldn't have developed bad habits like reading the tape. I'm just oh kidding. Oh, my <laughs> I tried to read the tape, dude, for three years thinking that that would be like the holy grail. And let me tell you something. I barely even look at tape in my trading today. Barely. On, dude, I don't even have tape on my screen. <laughs> I don't even have Well, you're a big screen. cap trader. I don't even, I, I, I don't even like, I, I, dude, I can't tell you how many videos I've watched of people that are like, let me show you the secrets to level two. And I'll watch secrets it and I'll be like, level two. who gives a rat's ass about any of this? I I'm, like, I'm. 
I can't, you can't do anything with level two unless you understand a chart. Bro, they're like, let me show you the secrets of level two. I'm like, I'm like, let me show you the real secrets of trading. Let me show you what pivot lines are and let me show you mm -hmm. time-based trading and then we'll really talk. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm like, let yeah, me show let you me the show real you. secrets of trading. Fucking some shit dude. on the chart. My God, hey, bang, I'm going to tell you jack shit about the chart. Put some pivot lines on your freaking chart. And let your Jesse Livermore. And ride trend and you will have a successful trading career with risk management and stops. Oh, let's see. What about yep, it? Yep. That's a KXIN. Nice. Ooh. Little live trading there for you. Bow started scaling there. Why? Because you have a top. Because you have a top. Because you have a top. Go where the previous tops were. This is resistance points, guys. As a short bias trader, when a top is set, you can hit the bounce into previous resistance. This is not rocket science. Level two was not the reason Bow hit right there. Let me tell Level you. Level two wouldn't tell you the top is there. That's for damn sure. Unless you Level can remember the highest print in the last four hours, which, you know, okay, you're fucking savant at that point. You're you Alex. Level with two but... would tell you? You know what level two would tell you? That there's probably a bid proper and it's going to fake you out of your position. <laughs> right. Dude, the first time I ever traded with Alex on the phone, he was reading the tape and I was just listening to him. He was like, all right, there's going to be, there, there, there was a hidden bidder here at 492 and then there was another one at 481 and there was another one at, at 527 way early this morning in pre-market. All right, so those are the levels that we have to remember and they got to look at this right here and we got to talk about, and I was like, what, what the fuck? Joe, Joe basically got, got in a, in a new car sale and he was like, how did I get in this car? <laughs> Dude, I was like, how did I end up here? I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. And you know what? Here's the cool part, man. Here's this, here's the cool part about tape. It can help. It really can. Absolutely. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You don't need it. And Alex is such a God, I mean, he's such a savant for this shit, man, that Alex could trade and probably have almost the exact same results he does, not even having tape on his screen. But let me tell you something. He's really good at identifying. He's really good at seeing huge blocks and hidden sellers and, and bid soaking and bid propping and all those stuff um, that, that it's going to help him. And Alex is the type of guy that he's, he's the hardest worker in the room. So I'll explain it like this. Alex knows that if he can have an edge here, here, there, and, and there, he's going to learn them all. He's not the type of guy that's just going to learn A, B, and C. He wants to do A through fucking Z, dude. And sometimes it's not even needed, but because Alex is basically OCD and attention to detail and work, he's going to make sure that he knows it and specifically so you guys can learn it. That's the most important part. Do you remember this? Chart Kids walk around dabbing. One. Yes, absolutely. Do you remember <laughs> this? <laughs> Nowadays, kids are walking around dabbing, but this was my generation. Dude, I did this in my generation. <laughs> are you kidding it. me? <laughs> like you like instructional, me like, this shit. bring figure one arrows, bring hands <laughs> down. And look at the little text on the bottom right. Place hands in X formation. <laughs> That's too good. That is so good, man. See, this is what we do when we see a Furu with 10,000 DVDs in their library and talking about buying breakouts and, <laughs> and buying weak stocks and shorting strong stocks. Dude, this is, oh, this is one, of my one of my buddies. Just oh, shit, I must have missed this. The Dow goes, that's why Faye is so good because she can read Chinese level two. Oh, she reads Chinese tape. Dude, that girl's in the Matrix, man. Let me tell you. And here's the thing, man. Never trades. compare yourself to any trader, trades. man. Dude, never compare yourself because look, some people are going to be born with a natural talent, just like Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, man. Some people are just born for this, and some are not, and that's okay. And you're gonna you're gonna have to have a little bit longer of a learning curve, but the information's here, man. The information is here, and that's the point. This is why and we that got OCX there. set up today. OCX today was that oh, OCX? beautiful beautiful broken chart we talk about every oh single week right there in a vwap you get your stuff moved through vwap and then every bounce is sold off under vwap where's the demand where's the demand guys where's the demand that's what we pay attention to longs are demanding their money back i can tell you that <laughs> from furu <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> oh shit we got blink running all right let's oh, get a dead cat bounce on this go. bitch Good, get that back up there. Pumpers in full form today. What about mm. you? Let's see. 
that oh, was, that was this busy morning. banking on everything else. He hit it this morning. About all these pops. <laughs> Yeah, dude, here's the thing. When something really is this beaten down and then they don't really pop at all, it's it's hard to get back into this. If you get like a like a drop down here and then a bounce back to like over here, then you can start putting on some starters. But yeah, this was tough. Bow did as, about as good as you can on this stock, man. There was not much meat. <laughs> Chris again with the, bapt with the baptism. Got the three piece with a biscuit. <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, gave the one, two, and for us. Do you have any questions about MIC? Again, my phone number is always open to you guys 24-7. If you need to upgrade, if you want to go from monthly to annual or lifetime, hit me up. If you want to know about our club, hit me up. If you um, want to know more details about the accelerator course, what we got in the works, um, you know, maybe you need a chart reviewed for God's sakes. Like smoothie uh, recipes. What's that, Joe? Smoothie recipes, plant-based really? plant meals. Tosh has got you. I got All you that. on the smoothie recipes, brother. What you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put some coconut milk <laughs> with some uh, raw and organic cacao, maybe a dab of honey, bananas, a dab. And off to the races, Not a suck man. it a honey, a dab. Throw one of Alex's edibles in there, and you are really off to the races. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my best friend. Um, from childhood he's a uh, chef and he went to he he's in Oklahoma and he started cooking um like edibles and stuff and and uh he Here's won seven course dinner bro he won he won the best flavor edible in all of Oklahoma wow get out of here man because usually um edible or at least marijuana flavored food or you know obviously infused is fucking gross dude Dude, they're like little starbursts. I have some. So whenever the next meetup is, I'll bring one. Whenever the next meetup is, Joe just publicly declared that he's the man to see. <laughs> he is the man that will be carting paraphernalia on Southwest Airlines. Fantastic. So. <laughs> and if he goes to New Jersey, he's going to have to get a balloon shoved up his ass to yeah. hide it. <laughs> you know, the trick, the trick is just put it in the mail, you know, and then – Mail it to the and hotel. Then just, and just mail it to the hotel and then pick it up when you get there. And contraband. And that's statewide, interstate contraband now. So. <laughs> Starring Joe Kelly as Mark Wahlberg's character. And this is recorded on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> These are not recommendations to buy, sell, invest, or get high. Or distribute illegal or drugs. Distribute illegal and or non-illegal substances. Yeah. Is it illegal if you transport across state lines to a state that it is legal from a state that it is illegal? What do I look like? A you know what I'm saying? Like, is know. that is that illegal if you come from, like, let's just say Texas and you go to Colorado? Is that illegal? Because now it's be illegal. legal. California. I'm not going from Colorado to Texas. I'm going from Texas to Colorado. I'm like, hey, look. I don't want to do something illegal in the state where it's illegal. I'd rather go to the state where it's legal and then do it. You know what? Joe for fucking president, man. I'm, you know, I Joe mean, is president. it though? That's, you know, I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. Well, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, Joe. I, I don't know about stuff like that, but hey, see you, Chris. Go get baptized, buddy. Now here, here's the other question. Here's the other question. If I stand right before the other state line, and then throw that one across and then go pick it up. <laughs> Did I truly take it across state lines at that point? I, you know what, man? What if, a, what if a bird catches it and its beak and takes it to your hotel room? Right. Like, is he a conspiracy? Is he a, is, it, like, it, does he are we going to, yeah. I mean, are, are we, are we going to, are we going to punish that? Whoa, KXIN. Holy mother. This is what we're talking about, guys. Remember what I said early in this webinar. I literally laid it out for you. In the last hour of the day, shorts lose the edge. Can you make a little money? Yep. Yeah, Bao did a really quick scalp on this level and covered up. But dude, this is where the longs have the edge on a strong stock. Remember what I said? We laid this out for you. Yep, 3.30 p.m. At the beginning of this webinar. And I literally said X K X I N because it was trading it around here when we started this webinar. I was saying these are things in the last hour that you really need to actually stay away from short. And then boom, see what we get? Yahtzee. Dude, we've given so many fucking golden nuggets in this webinar that if you guys don't sign up, I'm gonna be pissed, dude. <laughs> like we just gave you <laughs> Chris Lee. you needed to become a trader in one free webinar. Now you gotta sign up. Chris Lee gets it. Nobody ever get. Everybody gets caught going out of Colorado, but nobody gets caught going in. 
Interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's caught going in to Colorado. They're like, hey, don't bring that here because it's illegal. Nobody says that. <laughs> Nobody says that. You know, I'm I'm like, hey, look, you know, bro, I got this in Texas. I'm just I'm just coming to where I can actually do it's like buying liquor and not drinking it. It, it, it. I don't know if you guys have this in California. You probably don't because it's a bunch of never mind. Um, I don't, it's a, I, I don't <laughs> associate with California anymore. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have drive through liquor stores. Do y'all have drive through liquor stores there? Good God. No. Okay. Well, that's a thing that's in a, Texas and Arkansas kidding. and Oklahoma and you know most of the South. It's drive through liquor stores. No, apparently so, we have drive through strip clubs now. R- uh, well, yeah, that's in Houston. But all <laughs> bad things happen. All nasty shit happens in Houston. So that's, you know, that's why you don't go there. I mean, it, it's like drive through strip clubs. Like, that's just. Well, anyway, so. Three piece with it? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. I, I, hey, I'd like a number two. Not that style, number two, lady. Stop that. That's Stop nasty. That. <laughs> you back up away from my car. Anyway, so the the drive-in liquor stores, is it, you know, it, it, you know what I'm talking about, about taking, you know, edibles from Texas to Colorado where it's legal is, it's like the same, I didn't do them in the car, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't do it while I was driving. I just drove to where it was legal to do it. It's like buying liquor. I bought liquor at the store. I never got out of my car, right? I didn't drink any of it on the way home, even though I could have. It was right there in the seat next to me. Joe, if this I could have, doesn't work but out I chose. Now. I chose to go to my own home where I could do it safely and legally, right? Because drinking while driving is illegal, right? So if I went to my home with it now, I've all I've did is transport it. All I've done, all I've done is transport it to the place where it's legal. I think so. You're all I've done dude. with the weed is transport it from where I can't do it to where I can do it. So <laughs> we need yeah. to get you in like detective work or something. <laughs> I'm just, you know, what I'm saying. I'm like, dude, anybody need know, to find just... anybody who's missing? Just hire Joe. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, I just, you know, <laughs> think about, you know, th- the train of thought with that. Damn, two sixteen kxin. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, man, dude. We warned about this. Guys, do you have any uh, trading questions that we can ask? Yeah. Does yeah, anybody that nobody any does this. Like, remember, I said we are doing some wonderful deals right now, um, uh, unadvertised deals with uh, the bundle course, guys. We are a- including for a certain price. I will work with you. We're doing the best we can for everybody. Um, if you signed up yesterday, if you signed up the day before and you're two days in, we will figure something out for you. If you want to go in your lifetime, just hit me up. You can always DM me. These are my DMs, or you can text. But um, <laughs> I love this one. I've seen that many times. Pete is relative. <laughs> That's so good. But if you guys have any questions, man, I think uh, I think MIC is it. Let me just break it down like this. MIC is a good fit for any trader of any skill level, any screen time knowledge, any level in their career. I don't care if you've been trading 20 years. I don't care if it's two months, two minutes. MIC is going to be a good fit for you. And uh, dude, we got options for you, man. We And we literally have options for you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, we literally have options now. We have options now. So any Anything closing else, questions, guys, gentlemen? before Last we... Last uh, minute closing answers? Closing questions? In conclusion, any closing interstate contraband marks? is illegal. Man, this KXIN is only up 280% on the day. There you go. This will be fun tomorrow, man. This is something I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Or a multi-day runner. Maybe we get a first red day out of something like this. We'll $20 says, ba- I, I would bet money that Bow shorted the two line. Just I'm remember, just... though, just remember where it came from. Nasty business. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Leave that chart there. Leave that. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Look, I would, I would bet hard-earned money. Hard-earned money. <laughs> Hard-earned money that Bow shorted the two to two tens. His orders were 197, 207, 217, and he's covered. He's covering portions of it right now. He's being silent. He's covering. <laughs> it's not hard to get in the head of Bow. It's not I that I'm hard. Just saying. It's like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Bow, we're yet. We like, I know. Some, we expect some 190. I know covers. this man. I know this man. I know this man. This is my big brother right here. I'm telling you, it's. 
I'm just saying. Right, here we go. Here, what? I know oh. what he did. Uh-oh. We're going to see some We're going to see some 195. Oh, look at him. I need to leave. I need to. <laughs> he got the <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Look at it. It's 190 and now. And he covers at 190. Nailed it. You nailed it, man. Take the win. Let's see. Take the win. Let's you only got it. eight minutes until the market closes. We're calling it, baby. Show the cards. We're calling it. Here's where he's waiting for. He's waiting for it to come back down here to 175. I was just going to say, bro. I was literally just going to say he's sitting on 76. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> oh, look at it. Freaking. Look at him. Look at him, bro. Look, look at it. Look at it. Absolute animal, dude. Look, look at it. 197, 207. Two si oh man, he had FOMO. He didn't. He didn't leave the sevens. Oh he took my the sevens god. away. Oh my god. He had FOMO on these. This is what Bal calls a FOMO entry: is when he doesn't trust his last numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. Guys, if you didn't, I'm telling you, you can learn this shit, man. We literally just uh, taught you live, and Bal just showed it to you, and Joe Kelly just moderated it. <laughs> bro, that's what it. No, that's what he. I, like that's what I talked about about one time when we were when I don't remember where we were. I think we were actually all the way back in San Jose at like the very first meetup and he goes you want to know how you know i'm trading <clears throat> he says i can tell you exactly how i traded if it ends in a seven or an eight it was planned all right yep. this was a planned trade this was planned all along if you see a five four or six FOMO. i had fomo i had fomo i didn't think it was going to get there <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Uh, dude, that's what it is. I, dude, I'm I, so glad we stayed to the end of this <laughs> webinar. God, man. And look what oh. he did, guys. Look what he did. So the last lesson you guys are going to get today from us, check this out, man. This is what's called – Austin made this really famous, guys. This is called – Front side shorts. This is a mm -hmm. front side of the move. This is a tsunami on the way up, right? This is a wave on the way up. This is the peak of the wave. This is a strong stock. This is technically what we call a hot chick at MIC, the strongest mover with all the attention, with all the money. You, If you are shorting what's called the front side of the trend, not the back side, not something that looks like EFOI right now, but something like this, you got to cover on washes. So Bao is not looking to hold this to 90 cents tomorrow. He's paying himself so he can do it again and then again mm -hmm. and then again. And by the end of the day, he's got a home run and padded the wallet all day. Yep. Frontside shorts require frontside covers. Austin made it very famous. I mean, he's got, he had a 209 average and he covered everything at 199. So, I mean, he made 10 cents on, you know, probably 1,500 shares or something like that. And, you know, that, that's, that's another 240, 300 bucks at the end of the day. Dude, how Oh, he made it that, to 189. Right? Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> He's sicko. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, read that again, dude. <laughs> oh, he did. No, oh, shit, no, he did. I no. These. Hang yeah, on. I I Hang on. Hang on. Zoom it out. Zoom it out. Zoom it out. What's the average that he got filled here? 208, 199, 209, 189. 189. The average that he got filled was 199. That is so funny, dude. <laughs> and, and guys, I what did I say? I said Bow's covering at 190. And if he can get 170, uh -huh. he'll take it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Bow, dude. He is, I swear to God, dude, Bow is uh. so talented and so predictable because he's so good at what he does. So if something that he does shows up, you damn well know Bow's into it. I know where Bow's gonna be in this. I can just I can just I can just envision what Bow's doing. As soon as it broke this level, he goes, Where was my next line? Mm, exactly. I see that two. Dude, where's line. The next I see line? that two, two ten. Mm, that looks good. Well, and here's the funny and... part, man. In the predictability, so like say we'll do a meetup, right? Like this is how predictable we all are. Say we do a meetup and we do like a boot camp trip, dude. The first night, every single night that we all go out and joke could corroborate this, but we've been doing this for two years. The first night is sushi for Bao. The second night is steak for Alex. <laughs> and then the third night, it's it's sushi and steak. It's, it's a place that has steak. both. Yes, it's a place that because dude, we went to this we went to this place called um, what is it called here? Emoto here Emoto. in Dallas is called Emoto, and they have you know steak and they also have sushi, and sure shit. Alex orders this steak thing and the steak wasn't big enough. So he ordered a second one. <laughs> it's never big enough. It was like a $35 steak. 
like, and he's like, that wasn't enough steak. I'm going to need another order of that. And they're like, okay. And not only now under it was a bunch of greens. It was like, it was like spinach or mushrooms, spinach and mushrooms or spinach. And he goes, (laughs) he looks at me and Tosh and goes, you guys want this? (laughs) And we're like, (laughs) Well, Done. Dude, you do realize, you yes. do realize he didn't even ask that. that. I, I literally looked at him before he said that. I go, Alex, you do realize you're probably you going to eat that? over to me yeah. and Joe, right? It's like, you're going to eat those greens? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> okay, oh last question God. from this uh, this guy from Germany here. Scroll up a smidge there. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty new pretty here. You're trying to apply strategies on the short side. <laughs> I'm currently finding uh, tough entering setups where locates already cutting three to five percent into my edge will nail and bail and hard stop i find it tough to find a good r and r all good i guess um if you know how the triangles are all over the chart but i try not to overtrade. what's your guys opinion about locate prices influencing potential setups or eventually skipping them because of the extra costs and greetings from germany well greetings brother uh the first thing i will say that look when it comes to being a short seller and you have Um, and you have locate fees, that's part of the business, bro. So the way to get around locate fees is to one, um, size up or two, wait for the most desired entry and then hit harder. So just to give you guys an example of something like, um, really quick, uh, what's one really quick IDXG instead of hitting right here and stuff, hit harder and start putting some entries here. And that's a good way to get, um, around locate costs for me at least, um, cause they, you know, they, they're, they're expensive sometimes, but it's the cost of doing business. Um, so sometimes you just have to size up, man. That's just, yeah. You sometimes have to make that- smart business decisions though. A bad business decision is paying whatever they're willing to pay for a locate. Okay. So I personally have like a 1% rule, 1% of price. Okay is like so if it's a two dollar stock the most i'm willing to pay for locates is two cents okay i love that's it. I just love that. that's just kind of like it, it, i think that this kind of thing is like that's that's like a rule that you have to protect yourself from ab actually getting into like a bad situation where you know like think of it like a car payment oh my god that's loud dude wow. that's crazy right and think of it like a car payment. You know, as somebody that thinks that they can afford $500 a month, in turn, maybe can't afford more than like $350. The smart decision is to, is to go pick the car that's $350. But in turn, they're like, I can really squeeze to $500. But after six months, like they're seriously hurting to pay car insurance, gas, tires, all that other shit. Okay. So the, um, yeah. So yeah, IDXG being $11.60 today, I wouldn't have taken it. I wouldn't have taken that because I think that's fucking highway robbery. Now, if it's always 1160, you know, like straight out of the gate, it's an expensive locate. I'm just going to say this, the more pricey the locate, the general, generally it's the better short. <laughs> yeah. But the lack it, of availability that's generally how it works. Normal populace. Yep. But yeah, if it's, if it's two cents early at T, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be up. You gotta, you gotta be up with the chickens, man. You gotta Dude, be up I, with the chickens. I'll get a text, man. I'll get a text every single day. The same text, guys. I get this all Early the time. Bird hey, gets Tosh, the worm. When you get locates, uh, when my fucking eyes open, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like I get it like as early as I fucking possibly when, can. When I smell the cheese, man. Like, like what do exactly. you mean? Like if a stock yeah. is up and I think it's gonna be a good short, I'm locating, bro. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. But yeah, look at Bao's picture there. Look about his picture. Look at the average cost he paid per locate. He paid less than two cents a share on all of those. Why? <clears throat> Probably because he's a cheap Asian. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I don't have a 1% rule. I just don't pay two cents or more per locate because it's robbery. <laughs> <laughs> because it's principle. <laughs> it's just principle. <laughs> Fuck, I love it, man. And so for me, it's, it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Because you have Cobra and Cobra doesn't mark up the locates like other brokers will. And if you can't afford Cobra, you know, it's understandable, you know, you're going to have to go with a broker that goes with that route. And that's why I would always say open a trade zero account and use that international MIC discount that you get, but you've got to be early. You've got to be early. If you're waiting for the last five minutes of the day to grab those locates because you don't know if the setup is there, 
no, nah, you're just going to miss. Yeah, you're going to miss. What Joe is saying there right right now, guys, like just say MDRR today. Say there was locates for this. If you're waiting for the five line to get a locate, bro, you're never going to get them. You got to get them pre-market. You got to get them when you think that there's a short either now or at some point in the day. That's the whole point. Yep. Yep. So Joe, as dude, soon as, as I mean, as soon as me. IDXG, as soon as IDXG does this, I mean, is literally the moment it does this right here. Dude, like I'm locating. Dude, like I'm, I'm locating. locating is, yeah, literally. Yeah. I'm literally lo the moment it's up 30%. This is kind of my thing. It, like as soon as I see something up 30% or more, I'm, I'm searching for locates. As soon as I see good volume and it's up 30%, I'm searching for locates. And I won't, I, and I just use that 1% as a guideline so that I can quickly grab something. And you'll eventually over time develop this kind of innate, like what you're willing to pay for a locate based on opportunity. But I mean, it's, you know, that's it. So guys, in a nutshell, any question that you have will be answered at MIC. I can answer them for you. Reach out to me, whether it's getting started, whether it's upgrading, whether it's uh, taking a look at MIC, knowing any information. If we haven't proven to you in this webinar that MIC is where you're truly going to learn how to trade, then, then brother, I just, I don't know what to say because it's all right here. You got to take the leap of faith and join. Right now, we do have some really nice prices. So I would say this is the best time. Outside of that, man, best of luck to every single trader out there. We're here every single week. You, We've got partnerships with the best brokers. We've got the Accelerator course. We've got 1,500 plus members in here to help you be your tab partner, to be your friend, to be your guiding light. We have watch lists. We have, we, Bow posts his scans. You don't even have to do a scanner. We've got multiple rooms, multiple channels. Our DMs are open. You can call me. You can call our moderator list. We have weekend mentoring channel education. Anything you need, dude, is at MIC. You got to take yep. a leap of faith. Yep. Joe, Bao, did you're you, awesome, did dude. You, did you cover everything, Bao? I know you've been <laughs> yeah, chatting Bao, a lot. Out, you've been you typing officially? a lot of messages. Did you, did you cover everything in KXIN? <laughs> that was like, I plead the fifth. <laughs> He's like, fuck, I forgot. I got 500 shares left. <laughs> yeah, Bao, clean house, bro. Clean house, make sure. <laughs> So again, guys, yep. this was just a wonderful webinar. Joe, I think this is probably one of the best we've ever done. Honestly, thank you to big, big thank you to Bao for showing up, man, teaching us live trading as always. Alex peeping in anytime he hears either Forex yep. or, or Miami meetups and the good stuff. Steaks. Steaks. I love it, man. Dude, we're a family at MIC, man, and we want you to be a part of our family. So shoot me a text, man. Shoot me a text. Shoot me a DM. I got to get to these DMs right now. We, dude, we never rest, man. I, now I'm going to go answer these, probably take a nap and then get right back to it, man. But that's how it is, man. Come join Time the best community taxes. of all time. <laughs> oh, and, and get caught up on your taxes, guys. Tomorrow that fucker is due, as Val says. You got to pay Uncle Sam. I got a fat check. I got to write him. Fuck. And then I, I showed it. you guys Brian. So if you do need any help on taxes, uh, I showed you guys earlier in the webinar, Brian, he's your point of contact. He's wonderful. Uh, reach out to him as dude. It is, it, you got to get you tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day, man. Tomorrow's the but day. But if today is the first day you're taxes. reaching out to Brian to do your taxes, shame on you. Oh, hundred percent. Shame on you. hundred <laughs> percent. hundred thousand percent. Shame on your procrastination. All right, guys. See you next week, man. Appreciate you, bro. See Later. you, Joe. See you, buddy. See you, Val. See you guys.